The primary reason, the primary reason we're out here today to feed the bees. I have so many people telling me to feed the bees. I think it's probably about time I listen. Hi, welcome back to Daddy Curb's farm and another episode of beekeeping. I brought out a frame feeder and some sugar water. Now this is a one-to-one -one mix with a little bit of bee pollen mixed in. You remember in the last episode when the bees were just attacking this microphone like it was a wild beast? In fact, there's still some bees left in it. Well, I'm going to use this camera again today, but I'm going to make a little bit of a change to see if it makes any difference to how the bees react to the microphone. Why am I already in my veil? Typically, I will talk to you guys uh, before I get suited up. And uh, I started to do that, and the first thing, a bee came out here and attacked my head. So I'm prepared for them to be a little upset today. Also, for the smoke in this episode, we are going to once again try some denim. We're going to put denim in the smoker. And uh, this time it's a little more denim than last time. But I'm actually going to be out here less time today than I was last time. So I think this will be way more than enough denim for smoke in the smoker. So we're going to get that lit and then we're going to take the uh, sugar water into the bees and the whole time we're going to be watching to see how the bees react to the microphone. So it's like several experiments going on here in the same beekeeping episode. Now that's 100% cotton denim. Uh, we wouldn't want to put a mix, you know, the stretchy pants material in there. This is just cotton denim. Several people have asked me where I get these, these orange gloves. These are eight mil nitro gloves. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm just gonna take this cover off. This, I think, is what the bees hate. You see those bees in there? They gave the ultimate sacrifice to protect their hive from my microphone. So we're gonna take that off. We have now just a bare, naked microphone. But I am concerned a little bit about wind noise. That's always a problem when you're recording outside. So I have a piece of foam that was, this was like behind the glass on a brand new picture frame or something like that, just a packing foam. We're gonna wrap that around here and put one rubber band up on this back side to help hold it on the microphone in general. This here, and we're gonna put, I haven't tried this before, we're doing this for the first time together. We're going to put this rubber band around the tip of it. Could have used a smaller rubber band, but I didn't have one. So there we go. We have the microphone covered with foam with a rubber band on the back, rubber band on the front. That might be enough, but it's still dark. So I borrowed one of my wife's small white socks. Don't tell her. We're going to see what it's like just sliding a white sock over this microphone. Maybe the color difference and the fact that it's not fuzzy will be enough for the bees to not attack this thing. Check it out, we're not even in there yet and the bees are already uh, interested to see what's going on. I think I riled them up enough the other day. Uh, they're gonna be on edge for a little while. So we're gonna get in there, get this job done and get out. Thank you. 
So here's what the sock looks like right now. There's a few bees interested in it. Let's see if it gets way worse. They're very interested in it. They can probably still smell on there, but they're not attacking the white part. And I just noticed that I had forgotten to turn the microphone on, so uh, maybe that makes a difference in, in how they react because it's possible that they're hearing a portion, you know, the sound, the vibrations, and uh, since it was off, it wasn't doing that. But we'll see if it makes a difference. We do have the feeder in. I feel pretty good about that. We're going to get this closed up. I'm going to put these boards back on. I'm going to try to smoke these girls off of here. Prevent some bee damage as I put these boards back on. Okay. That was good. Still good. And we're going to put our skinny board We're going to put our skinny board on here because that's the end of the, the hive. And put this last one in and we'll be done. One last look of the microphone with sock as opposed to the grizzly bear. That was fairly successful. I feel like they did pretty well today. Of course, I didn't get in and, and really disrupt a whole lot. Maybe their new queen is back from her mating flight and they're settled down. Maybe it's just a nicer day. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to close this up. While we're out here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the front of the hives look like typically. First, I'll show you the other horizontal hive and then show you the, the, the two vertical Langstroth hives.
just for fun, I'm going to hold this up and see if the bees that are around me are interested in it. They typically don't like it when I'm running cameras. Uh, I think the camera makes an electronic sound that they just don't appreciate, uh, but they really don't like microphones, especially when they're covered with something like this. But so far, this little makeshift cover seems to have done the trick. You are an amazing beekeeping community. Thank you so much for being a part of my story today. I believe everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe you have a story and I believe your story counts because you count. Thank you so much for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. I look forward to sharing lots more beekeeping episodes coming up real soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.